Okay, hello, welcome to my review. This is on the Mold King X6, which through my research I believe to be is an updated version of an earlier model. Quadcopter in a box. Comes in this plastic housing case so you can carry it around, make it portable. Spare props, the charger, the manual, which is written in English, or excuse me, in Chinese and totally useless to me. Uh, so that's one of the drawbacks to it. Onto the quadcopter, has this protective housing here. And then the quadcopter itself, I must say, the build of this is pretty well. Um, the fit, finish, and the durability factor seems pretty good. It's clearly a X4 uh, hub sand knockoff, but um, I'm impressed with the build. Like one of the drawbacks of the hub sand is the legs that come apart. This actually has little tiny screws. I don't know how good that is, and I'll get I'll talk more about that later. Uh, the battery is impossible to remove. I'm afraid I'm going to damage it. Um, and then also I notice upon closer inspection that the shaft that holds the props varies in length on different motors. It's kind of hard to see here, but like for example, let me see. Yeah, this one out here is significantly longer as opposed to this one, which is more on top of the motor. Uh, again, fit finishing uh, durability factor seems pretty good. It's rigid. It's a it seems like a tough molded plastic. So uh, I'm going to give it five props for its design and its color. I like the red props and the white props on the blue. It's pretty good. Now onto the transmitter. Right out of the box, I had a problem. Not with the actual transmitter itself, but with the back. There's little tiny screw holes here, which you first must remove the screws in order to gain entry into access into the back. This one was stripped out. Before I could even put batteries in it, I had to drill this out. I wasn't really impressed with that, but overall the transmitter has a pretty good feel. Uh, the gimbals are, are cheesy or plastic. Um, has your trim controls. Seems okay. Um, everything stores in the box itself underneath. I'm not going to open it because it's a mess. Kind of difficult with one hand. But again, uh, the screws being stripped out, at least this one here, and having to drill it out, I wasn't too happy. I was afraid I was going to drill into electrical components and I didn't. There was, fortunately there's enough tolerance uh, to allow you to drill that out safely if you should have to. So it is a quote-unquote six axis uh, quad. I've flown a little bit. It's pretty darn good. I, it's pretty zippy. I'm not sure what size the motors are but it's right on par with the X4L. Uh, maybe even a little bit more so. Uh, on here there's a couple buttons this one I would assume is for high modes, medium modes, fast modes. I'm not sure what this one does yet. I'm still working on trying to figure that out. But overall, for the 28 bucks that I paid for it on T-Mart, not a bad deal. Uh, next to come is some flight video.